is Sarah from So Sarah, and I want to share with you guys today a photo app that I use. It's called Really Good Photo Spots, RGPS. It was created by the Improved Photography podcast members, and it's only available on Apple devices. Now, first I'm going to go and I'll show you um, if you're around the area that you want to shoot and you just want to find spots that are around you, you just click on spots around me at the top left and it's going to show you four and five spots, star spots within 75 miles. Um, so say, hey, I want to go see this covered bridge here that's showing up. So you just click on whatever it is that you want to go see. And it'll show you the person that posted and recommended that spot, um, as well as their profile and their photo. Um, you can also scroll through and see other photos that other people have taken. And then you say, hey, I want to go see this bridge today. So you just click on navigate. It takes you right into maps and it gives you the directions and how long it's going to take you to get there. So super convenient. Um, really takes the guessing out of all of it so let's go back in here so you can you can add your own pictures like say you go here you just add a picture uh, you can mark it as visited so you know for next time where to go now say hey i'm going to san diego california this weekend and i want to know what great things there are to photograph there now san diego is kind of large it's a very large town so um, there's going to be a, quite a few things that show up there, so I'll just give you that one for an example. So you just type in whatever location you're going to be visiting. Now you can, um, if you want to do rivers, you can type in river for the title. You can type in the radius. You can type in the minimum number of stars. Um, but really, whenever I do it, I try to keep it as vague as possible, just so you get... Um, the most results and sometimes something that's rated at a one star I might find very interesting and um, the people who rate it might not so I like to see all of it and um, then really be able to choose what I want to go shoot so then you just click find your spot and it retrieves the locations and it's going to come up and it's going to show I think this I didn't click a minimum of anything so it's going to show anything and everything around San Diego, the USS Midway, the Air and Space Museum, the beautiful Coronado Ferry Landing. I went and actually went out there when I visited San Diego, but it was like four o'clock in the morning because I was there for a work conference and I didn't have much time um, after the conference and it got dark. So on my way to the airport, I headed over there and just took some pictures and uh, didn't want to miss out on that while I was there. So you can go through all of these, see what you like, and then go and, you know, shoot to your heart's content. Sometimes I go and I might look at Google Images as well and see what other people have posted for that location to see if there's um, specific angles that are really cool or um, that you might not think of if you need to be on one side of the bridge versus the other. Um, so now, like say, last summer we traveled to Puerto Rico, and there wasn't really a lot in Puerto Rico. So while I was there, I actually added quite a few spots in Puerto Rico. You add them, and then I'm not really sure how it all works behind the scenes, but it goes in and it rates your, your um, spots. So actually this Cueva Ventana here, I added that. Um, that right there is my photograph. I actually won at a photo competition last year. Not this exact version. This was just a photo, uh, a phone edit. That's one thing you have to, when you add a location, you have to upload a geotag picture. So if your camera doesn't do that, and sometimes it's just easier just to take a quick um, snapshot just to get it uploaded. But say um, if you went to Cueva Ventana and you wanted to add a picture, you just click add a picture and you go in and you find whatever picture you want to add. Now, 
Um, so the Ponce Park de Bombas, um, we went there as well. The Cristobal Colon statue, the Bacardi um, rum factory, the castles, and then these were just, I mean, random places. And you can see like the market got two stars, but I really found it interesting um, just to take pictures of the fruits and vegetables. Some people might say, oh, that's, that's dumb, but you know, we, we tried some things. Um, so I'm kind of a foodie too. So I like to try drinks and food and, and taste things. So if I can mix all of that with my photography, then that makes me happy. Um, in fact, a lot of these pictures are mine. And then since it's so close, the St. Thomas Harbor Overlook is on here. And since all the islands are so close together, but um, so say you're somewhere and you want to add a location, you just click add and you can take a picture in, within the app and say I'm here or you can upload the geotag pic like I said. You put in a title up at the top and you can put in any information in the location. Information, um, anything that, you know, if you can help out the people who are going to be looking at it in the future um, so they know how, you know, so they have some idea of if it would interest them. Sometimes the stars aren't aren't a good enough indication whether you want to visit there or not. So the location information really helps. So that's all for now. Thanks.